Welcome back to Math Concepts. We are continuing our work in compound interest. In this video we will discuss how to find the interest earned. In previous videos we've discussed the formula used in dealing with compound interest and we discussed how to find the compound amount also called the future value. That tells you how much you're going to end up with altogether, your initial deposit plus the interest. So here we're going to kind of go a step further and look at how you can get to the interest by itself. All right, so the key idea from this video is how to find the interest earned. All right, so the example we'll look at is how much interest is earned in six years on $8,000 deposited into an account paying 9% interest compounded monthly. Okay, so let's think about what we know. Okay, well, from previous videos we know this. The amount we end up with is principal 1 plus R over N power N T. So in our example, that would be 8,000. That's the initial deposit, so the principal. That one, remember, that's always there, okay? You have 100% of what you started with plus extra. All right, now the rate, 9%, 0.09. Monthly compounding means that's a 12. Okay, now they tell me in the problem that we are leaving the money in the account for six years, but it's compounded monthly. Six years is... 72 months, all right? And we, of course, get that by doing 6 times 12, right? 6 years times 12 months per year gives us 72 months. Okay, so let's do this little computation here on our calculator. Make sure we get some good light on the calculator and the, and the, the book there. Okay, so clear this out. So we have 8,000. And we can just enter this exactly as it looks. 1 plus 0 0.09 divided by 12, and then exponent of 72. Okay, so we end up with $13,700.42. Okay, now this is the total that we have in the account, okay? That includes the $8,000 principal plus the interest that we earn. All right, now if I take that amount and subtract the initial principal of $8,000, that will tell me the amount of interest that I've earned. And we do that computation and we get $5,700.42. Okay, so this is the interest earned. Okay, now I want you to compare this to what we did when we were working with simple interest. When you had the simple interest formula, that formula tells you how much interest you collect or earn. The compound interest formula tells you the entire amount you'll end up with. Okay, So when you're dealing with simple interest, if you want to find the future value, you have to take the principal and then tack on the interest. For compound interest, you want to find the future value, just use this formula. If you want to find the interest earned, you have to subtract the original principal. Okay, so finding the interest earned has an extra step in this case. 